Hey, Del Dallas Motor Club. I'm standing here with Rob. Rob, where did you buy this Camaro? City Chevrolet in San Diego. And you bought it brand new? Yes. So you've had it since 1983? Yes. And what, do you, what made you buy this specific Camaro in 1983? Uh, well, the, the third gens were just coming out. Yeah, we'll take a look. Keep talking to me. I'm going to walk around uh, it. The body style was just awesome. I just had it. Wow. And, and is this kind of original or is it? Yeah, it's all original paint, original interior. Wow. How many miles do you have on this? 111,000. Wow, you can't tell that at all. It looks brand new in here. You take care of your cars, huh? Yeah. Man, look at this, Del Dios Motor Club. What a cool car. 1983. So it's got the 5.0 liter HO and it's the Z28 model, which they just brought back out probably. Is this the first year of this body style? I can't even remember. 82. Wow, look at that, you guys. So, it has a mechanical clutch. Wow. Or not a hydraulic clutch. And, and this was your daily driver for a long time. Yeah. And you have 109,000 miles on it? About 111. You take such good care of it. Look at that engine bay, people. It comes up to like 4,000 a year. 4,000 a year, so yeah. And this is the last year for fiberglass. So it's got a fiberglass head on it? Wow, it is stunning. I love the color combination with the tan interior and the stripes on the bottom. And I, uh, I did some, over, you know, some upgrades over the years. I put some Corvette C5 brakes. Okay. But man, basically you've had this for, I'm trying to do the math, 40 years. 41 years. 41 years. A lot of good memories in it, huh? Oh, yeah. The T-tops. You know, I don't have a car. I have a few old cars, but I don't have one with a T-top, so... I need I need something with T-tops because that's my I, I remember the '80s so well and this is just a classic car. Yeah, these were known to leak severely. Yep. Uh, but this one here does not leak. Wow. Uh, it was, it's an Ohio built car, not a Van Nuys car. Okay. Because there's two factories in there. Yeah. The uh, the Ohio the Norwood assembly plant was the better plant. Okay. It was older and the line ran slower. So you got the be plant. you got a little bit better T-tops then, huh? Hey, well, I appreciate you telling us a great car story, man. And we love it when someone's owned a car for a long time and oh, taking yeah. taking care of it this long. Reagan, Reagan was president. Reagan was president when he bought this, people. Thanks for watching Del Dios Motor Club. Del Motor Club. It's getting late, but I ran into John, and you know I love original owner cars. What am I looking at, John? 69 Grand Prix SJ 428. This is a 69 Pontiac. Grand Prix. SJ. S Model SJ. Model SJ. 428. 428 cubic inch engine that's and John walk around with me because the volume doesn't work very well because I don't use mics but okay. you bought this brand new in 1960 1968 I ordered it uh, from John Hine uh, senior actually sat down in the office with the guy and ordered everything I wanted on it and it took him six weeks to build it where were you living at the time in uh, in Del Mar oh you so you're local San Diego yeah. oh wow that's even yeah. rarer local San Diego person <laughs> Since 65. Yeah. Okay, that's still a long time for it's San Diego. Time, yeah. And uh, it took them six weeks. They only built them in one factory back in, uh, in, in those days. The Scrap Freeze were built in uh, Pontiac, Michigan. Okay, Pontiac, Michigan. So it took them six weeks to build it and ship it out. I got it on Thanksgiving Day 1968. You got it Thanksgiving Day 1968. Yeah. And you said you served uh, in the Navy, right? Yeah. And is that before you were overseas or after you were overseas? Joined the Navy in '64, and I got out in 1970. Okay. So I, I made two cruises on the aircraft carrier Titanic. So, so you and you were a pilot on there. Well, I was the pilot. I was a Navy flight officer, flight, flying in E-1B airplanes. E-1B. Yeah. Wow. I was the uh, air controller. Wow. Very cool. Yeah. And so it's pretty stock inside, right? It's getting dark, but it's, it's, the car is pretty stock. The motors been rebuilt and, yep. and I had a few things going, done to it to make it a little more horsepower. So. Right. But you, you've owned this car now for, I'm trying to do the math, 55 years. Well, whatever. 56. Uh, since uh, 1968. Well, I was I, born in 67 and I'm 56, so. Okay, 55 years. 55 years. There we go. Wow. Yeah. That's up, pretty. Takes up a lot of room in the garage. It takes up a lot of room, but wow, got a lot of great memories with this probably. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty quick. I had a, a 89 Corvette, and, and this thing is actually faster than the 89 Corvette. Is it really? Yeah. So the 89 Corvette, which was the, yeah, they started to have some horsepower then. Yeah, and there was only 250 horsepower. 
250 horsepower. It was the 90 ZR1 that yeah. started to have the horsepower. But I love this color. Do you know what color they call it? It's lime light green. And you ordered the color and everything yeah. when you. So what what options did you get? Most of the options on the car? Or? It comes with everything: power windows, power brakes, uh, steering, uh, everything. And something it's else you said was interesting. This was sort of John Delorean's baby. Tell me about yeah, that again. John Delorean designed the car. It's uh, it's got unique features. It it's one of the uh, it's it's built on a Tempest four door frame. Yeah. And what he did was he put the engine after the front cross member. So. Uh, Every, all the weight is, is towards the rear. It's a very well-balanced car. Wow. And it, it, instead of sitting there and spinning the tires, it, it just it takes off. It takes off. It takes off. And you stuff. said that the, the Model S, J, and the S was the other model. Were really done sort of after the Duesenberg, sort of? A... Yeah, it was patterned after the Duesenberg. So it's got the longest hood that was ever put on an American production car. Check that it's out, people. Down. It is a long hood. I got a 64 Cadillac, and I don't know if... I think this hood is longer than a 64 yeah, Cadillac. It is. Hey, well, that's pretty cool. John bought this car brand new in 1968. Beautiful 1969 Grand Prix SJ 428 Pontiac. Thank you for telling us a great car story. Thank you. Hey, this is Jeff Del Dios Motor Club. I'm making Buzz do this a second time because I messed up the first video. I was just driving along and I saw this Woody pulling into the gas station. I went to talk to Buzz and asked him if he'd tell me about it. And the story was so good, he's pulled over to a side parking lot to tell me. Buzz, what am I looking at here? My grandfather's 1940 Pontiac Silver Street Woody, and uh, they didn't call them Woodies back then, they were station wagons. And uh, he he lived in Mendenhall, PA, worked as a chemical engineer, had a farm that was kind of a hobby farm. But, uh, he raised sheep and cattle and a lot of fruit and uh, vegetables. Wow. And, uh, he, he, uh, he had it until 1967 when he died in about 94. And um, and then um, I got it from there. And you got it what year? I got it in 67. I was in college back east. And I shipped it out to California where I grew up. On a, in the La, La Jolla and uh, Solana Beach area. I have a house in Solana now. Uh, but anyway, I, I drove it. Once I got it out here, I, I drove it to... Uh, Boulder, Colorado, where I was going to school and uh, uh, graduate school, and then uh, from there I took it up to Jackson, Wyoming, and then uh, uh, eventually brought it back down here. And, uh, I live in Jackson. I know. I know you told me, but uh, what year is it again? It's in 1940. So 1940. So we're looking at 83 years of single-family ownership. And yeah, and I'm the second owner. Grandpa that is incredible. So I had it. I had it in the 2000s. I had it modified uh, mechanically over, and uh, and they did the paint job too, and restored, uh, finished, redid the wood. Wow, the wood's beautiful. And that was done by Hot Rods and Custom Stuff. And they did a great job. I won an award when the first time they. Came was done they, they wanted to show it in Del Mar at the car show oh so you took it to good guys in Del Mar yeah oh that's awesome and I, and I got an award for it there and this wood's all original on the dash uh the dash is actually painted uh, oh it's, wow it's a faux wood paint job uh that that's some, beautiful somebody that uh um, hot rods and custom so found did it wow that's and, beautiful and, but everything else original um and and it's really a seven passenger correct well Let's or see. eight? You get three, two, yeah, eight. Wow. It's eight small people. Eight small people. And what motor are you running in it? It's a fuel injected. It's called a Ramjet. It's fuel injected 350. Is it hard to open the hood? No, I can get it. And you said you've got uh, uh, modern brakes on it. What type yeah, of brakes? They're Willwood brakes, and uh, it's got a it's got a Ford rear end. Oh, They're look at really that. Mechanically, but the idea was if you look at it, think it was still more or less original. Yeah. Wow, no, and I, I, you know, it's beautiful. I was stunned. I told you I almost ran a red light coming. Wow. That was, that was uh, all beat up and uh, hot rods and customers found a guy that could read it. That's beautiful. It. And, and look at the hood latch. I watched you do that, but it's, uh, yeah. it's the... It'll, well, wow, look at that. That, that keeps it down. 
1940 Pontiac. Hey, this is really cool. I was just going to for a drive and get some gas, and I ran into Buzz, and Buzz has told me the story about this one family. He's the second owner. His grandfather was the first owner. Buzz, thanks for taking the time to tell me a wonderful story about this car. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Um, thank you so for stopping Excellent. Hi, this is Jeff Del Deals Motor Club. This is a great story. I'm standing here with Dave. Dave, what year is this? 1934. 1934, and what model is it called? It's a deluxe three window coupe. Deluxe three window coupe. But what makes it special is who was the original owner who bought this car? My grandfather. Your grandfather. Tell me a little bit about that. He well, he bought the car brand new in Denver in 1934. The 35s had come out, so this was a leftover. Yep. And he drove it back down to Colorado Springs. Then in 1949, we were building a house. My dad was building a house down here in San Diego. So he and my grandmother drove it out from Colorado Springs. Drove it out from Colorado Springs. You can keep walking around with me. I'm just going to get the yeah. car in here, too. And uh, 1953, my I was 13, and my grandmother died. Uh-huh. And uh, he had it for sale for 100 bucks down on Ocean Beach. I was afraid somebody was going to buy it. Finally convinced my dad that I should have it. But my dad says, you got to pay him his hundred bucks. So I worked unloading fish and mowing lawns and substitute paper route to get the hundred bucks before I went back to school. Right. All of 53. Okay. And uh, I've had it ever since. It and, you, and you told me at one point you sort of hot rotted it out. I hot rotted it in the 50s. In the 50s, and it was on the cover of what at the time? It was not on the cover. It was in the uh, August issue of Carcraft. August issue of Carcraft. And it, what color was it then? Bright orange. Bright orange. And is this uh, an original color? To what? Yes, this is an original color. So you kind of put it back to the original look that your I grandfather, when he first bought it. I took the Chevy V8 out of it, took the dropped axle out of it. And what are you running in it right now? It's the original motor, but it's got some pre-World War II goodies in the Eddie Myers. So is this stuff from back in the day that you yes. you were running on it? No, this is stuff I've collected over the years because I knew I wanted to get yeah, the Chevy out of it. Right. And put it back to more stock. Right. This is Eddie Myers equipment that was built up in Hollywood before and just shortly after World War II. Wow. So this is the history on this car is That's just in... original 34 motor. That's the original 34 motor, wow. Look at that grill. And this car also, I hear, survived the Cedar Fire here in 2007. Cedar Fire, the Witch Creek. The, the Witch Creek Fire here in San Diego. Yeah, the body was in my nephew's shop in town, but the chassis and engine went through the fire. Wow. Who did that grill? So basically, you've got your grandfather's car, which is really cool. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I love car stories, and that's what we do, and this is a great car story. Have you ever, have you ever rode in the rumble seat? drive it <laughs> you drive it even when you were a kid huh well it was i, I converted to a rumble seat when i was uh, in high school oh, okay it was a trunk before. man you, so how long have you so you, the family's had this for since it was new since it was new i'm trying to do the numbers on that that's uh 80 90 years almost almost 90 years 90 years in the family this is what car stories are all about i really appreciate you telling me this car owned it for 70 years and you've owned it for 70 years i'm 83 Man, you're looking good for 83. I hope I get to 83. Thanks for telling me a great car story.